Hello, Douglas County. It's Thursday, September 16, 2021. And I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. How are you doing? I'm good. Thanks for having me, Rick. Thank you for being here. Dr. Meemark, where are we with the numbers in Douglas County and what can you tell us about hospitalizations? Yeah, so um, COVID numbers now, we're, we're giving, getting a glimmer of hope now that numbers are coming off of this really high um, fourth Delta surge. And so we had hit over, I think it was like 1,100 cases per 100,000 for a while, and we're finally coming down. So today's numbers are at 968 per 100,000. Um, for those of you that are um, kind of COVID watchers, um, we know that is still almost 10 times higher with, than what's considered high transmission, so very, very high rates. Um, another concerning thing that we're seeing is that the positive percentage rates of um, tests coming back still remain very high. So it's at 18%. We feel much more comfortable when it's below 5%. So if all tests are coming in, less than 5% should be positive. And so 18% tells us that the people that are getting tested, um, there are almost 20%, like one in five almost, that are coming back positive. That's a lot. And so we still have very high transmission in Douglas County when it comes to COVID. Hospitalizations also remain very, very high for Douglas Hospital. Now they've come down a little bit, which is very, very good, but they are still at extremely high rates. So we need those numbers to, to come down as well to give some relief to the hospitals. Um, one of the concerning things that we have seen um, is the number of deaths that have been coming in. And so you remember um, it would be cases first and then you'd have hospitalizations next and then you have right. deaths that would follow. Well, we've had 256 deaths um, in Douglas County from COVID-19. 12 of those were in August alone. And so, and those are just the um, confirmed numbers. So there's more that are um, the antigen numbers that are, are not quite in there quite yet. So, um, so a lot of deaths, unfortunately, that that came in um, to Douglas. We had three in, in one day, which is a pretty high number for Douglas County. So that leads us into, you know, what we think can can help prevent that. What about vaccinations? What are the numbers for Douglas County residents who are vaccinated and what are we seeing nationally? Yeah, so vaccination rates, um, they have eked up a little bit, so they're doing better. We're at 47% of um, residents that have their first dose and 41% uh, that are fully vaccinated. Nationally, though, we're at 63% for the first dose and 54% for fully vaccinated. And so um, one of the interesting, but I think um, a little bit uh, difficult thing to see between um, our two counties that we take care of at Cobb and Douglas Public Health um, have been the numbers and the surges that we've seen. And it's Seems like Douglas's numbers um, were higher in both percentage positive as well as in um, their case counts as well as like case rates. And um, we think the difference is because of the the um, uh, number of people that are vaccinated. Cobb consistently is about 12 to 13 percent higher, and that you know gives a, a bit more protection to folks if you got more people vaccinated. And so um, you can just see in each of these um, counties, if you ever have time, you just want to take a look and play at that play with that DPA map that shows like the vaccination rates and then case rates, you can see that the counties that had the lowest vaccination rates had some of the highest count rates and deaths that came in. And so it, it is, it, it they go hand in hand together. So it was very important. You also saw that you know, of the hospitalizations that were hospitalized for COVID, over 90% of those were unvaccinated folks. So this is completely preventable. And so we urge all residents, you know, you know what side effects that you could have if you get the vaccine, but you don't know what COVID is going to do to you. And so it's it's really a gamble for um, taking your chances with COVID instead of taking your chance with the vaccine. So that being said, and I know you know this, uh, Dr. Meemark, uh, but Cobb and Douglas Public Health will be here this Saturday at September Saturdays, our annual festival. And the Douglas County Board of Commissioners approved just at this week's meeting to offer a vaccination incentive program we want the members of the public to know. And what's happening with that is uh, the first 100 registered um, folks who arrive uh, to be vaccinated and get vaccinated will receive a $100 gift card. A $100 gift card is being offered. And the Douglas County Board of Commissioners also have 
approved this program to be for next Saturday as well, where the first 200 people who book an appointment and register on the 25th will receive a $100 gift card. Uh, registration is required, and those details to register can be found on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com with the full information. Dr. Meemark, I know that Cobb and Douglas Public Health continues to offer the COVID vaccine for free at the Douglas Public Health Center on Selman Drive. How's that been going? It's been going very well. So it's still Monday through Friday, eight to five, and it is completely free. And so we urge people to, to take advantage of getting the vaccine there. Um, you know, before like the next big push of boosters and all of that comes in, this is a nice time to go ahead and get that done. So um, we welcome everybody to come over and get vaccinated. I know you're we're also working with, you know, others such as CORE. I just gave CORE a tour here at the courthouse. Uh, you're still working things, still working well with CORE? Yeah, yeah. CORE um, is a great partner that's helping us um, with vaccinations, and um, they're going to be helping us with some of the boosters as well. So we look forward to it. Um, they were doing testing before and now doing vaccinations. And we have another partner that helps us with testing as well, the MAKO Group. Um, so you will see them over at that um, at um, Arbor Place Mall. And so we're working on some plans to, um, you know, if a, the booster gets approved, that we're ready. And so there's been a lot of uh, kind of um, only little tidbits coming out about that. So I'm sure you want to talk about that one too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, and just as well too, I think this is a time where the Board of Commissioners, I know would like to thank Premier, Premier Drugstore for uh, conducting a clinic this week, a clinic for our employees to receive vaccinations, giving employees an opportunity to receive vaccinations if they would like. So, and that was a success. And again, on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, thank you to Premier drugstore as well. Excellent. Very good. So there seems to be a lot of misinformation about the booster third dose. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, so um, so there is a lot of um, confusion. So um, first of all, there there's two different things. There's the, the third dose, and then there's what's called the booster. So the third dose is actually right now it's available to folks. And so this is um, to be right um, soon after you get your second dose of your um, Pfizer or Moderna vaccine. And so it's for folks that are, are truly immunocompromised. So if you are undergoing cancer treatment or have had um, a transplant, um, have um, you know uncontrolled HIV or AIDS, um, then you can get that dose right now. Now, the, so go ahead and go and do that. You don't have to have your, your doctor send a note or anything like that. If you fall into those categories, you can get, um, you just have to fill out an affidavit. Now, for the booster, this is the one the president had announced a few months ago. And so that one is supposed to be like eight, nine months after your second dose. Now that one is, is kind of going through the process right now. And so the FDA will meet actually tomorrow to discuss the boosters. And then it will, if it gets approved there, it will go to the CDC and the um, ACIP, the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices. So, and that would probably not meet until next week. So we're awaiting to go through the first steps first. So we are preparing because we don't want to be caught, you know, on our back foot on this. We want to make sure that we're prepared to, to give out um, the vaccines. And so we're just waiting to hear what the official word from the federal government is. Great, great information, Dr. Maymark. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Yeah, so, um, you know, I, this one has felt like a long one, you know, the surge, this fourth surge that we've been through um, going on three months now. Um, you know, the, the amount of strain that it puts on all of our first responders and public health workers and healthcare workers has just been tremendous. We have a lot of people that are leaving their respective fields because of burnout and stress. And, um, and so, you know, every single time this happens, I feel like it takes a toll upon our, our infrastructure. And so I just wanted to make sure that everybody knew, like, you know, it, that we're not in the clear. There's always a possibility of another one. So we've been through four, unfortunately. So, it, you know, we have flu coming and then potentially a fifth surge. And so you remember last year, 
the holidays were not great for COVID and we were filled to, to capacity and we surpassed that this time. And so I urge everybody, you know, this is, this is um, you know, preventable at this point. You can give yourself and your family members some protection. So please, you know, wear your um, mask when you're out in public because we see a lot of transmission that way. And please, please get your vaccine. It is, you know, very safe and um, it does not cause infertility. It doesn't cause stillbirths. There aren't people filling up the hospitals because of vaccine, vaccination problems. It's people who didn't get their vaccine. They're the ones that are filling up the hospitals. So I urge everybody to please get it um, while you can and get your flu shot too. We need to give as much protection to ourselves as we can as we go into the winter. Dr. Me, Mark, I can't thank you enough. At this time too as well, I'd love to thank um, our first responders, I want to thank the City of Douglasville's Police Department, Douglas County Sheriff's Office, our Fire and EMS uh, team for Douglas County, our Emergency 911 Operations Center, our dispatchers. Uh, it's been an ongoing effort in the midst of a pandemic, and I know that um, we can't thank them all enough. Dr. Meemark, I want to thank you for being here. On behalf of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners and the Communications Department, um, I'm Rick Martin. Thank you and have a good day. Thank you.